When Riley Derschweiler is at football practice in Sonora, California, his mother can keep track of his workout from the sidelines. But Kristen isn't just another helicopter parent. Her son has type 1 diabetes, and if his blood sugar gets too high or too low, he risks life-threatening complications, everything from severe dehydration to seizures. It was probably like three years ago, the first real low that I had, and uh, my dad told me to get ready for school, like wake up, get ready for school, and I wouldn't, I couldn't comprehend what he was saying. It was like I was in a bunch of different places, and I just remember it being really scary because I didn't know where I was at. Now Kristen gets real-time readings from a blood glucose sensor that Riley wears. She uses a digital system called Night Scout, which sends info to her smartwatch and phone. I'm able to always continuously see his blood sugar levels on my wrist, so he can spend the night at a friend's house, he can be at school, um, he can do some of the things that used to scare us because we weren't able to monitor him. If Riley's blood sugar level goes too much above or below normal, Kristen gets an alert. It's pretty easily managed because like my blood sugar will go low at practice and I won't know it because of the adrenaline and stuff and so mom will drive to practice. We've contacted the coaches the very first time yeah I drove to practice then I quickly got coach's phone number <laughs> yeah. and now he, his father or I will call the coach and say you know he's 75 and dropping you need to get him off the field and get a Gatorade in him. Night Scout isn't prescribed by doctors it's actually a hack of a commercial product made by Dexcom cobbled together last year by a handful of parents across the country. Many in the group wanted to be able to monitor their children remotely, but no such product existed. The Dexcom receiver, for example, has to be within 20 feet of a patient's glucose sensor to work. So the parents took development into their own hands. They're part of a growing movement of citizen scientists who want more control over their health data. We're at a point where patients want their own data and they don't want to necessarily wait for a doctor or someone else to act on it. If we have that insight at our fingertips, we can, we can make very informed decisions ourselves. So the 167 is his blood sugar um, with the arrow saying that it's stable. Uh, the Czech CGM means Currently used by about a thousand diabetics, Night Scout hasn't been approved by the FDA, although Caustic and his fellow developers recently filed an application. But as the system is adopted by a wider base of tech neophytes, the FDA worries using it could jeopardize patients' health. Some experts warn against relying on an unvetted system that relays important health information. Among the concerns, parents may be relying on Night Scout too heavily and may no longer wake up in the middle of the night to check on their diabetic children. And the Night Scout experience isn't seamless. At Riley's recent football practice, the system temporarily stopped sending info to Kristen's phone, a glitch that resolved on its own. It's a lot bigger than a cell phone. The system is also bulky, and the Android phone used to operate it can run out of batteries quickly. Kristen and other parents say they don't use it in place of more traditional skin prick blood sugar tests. They say it's just an additional way to monitor their kids. Dexcom says it plans to seek FDA approval for a software system similar to Night Scout later this year. The company hopes to get it on the market in 2015. Not soon enough for the Derschweilers. I am very much aware that it's not FDA approved, um, and I am okay with that. You know, without, without, I really truly believe that without this system that I could have lost him or he could have been in a coma. This past summer, when Riley was alone in the house, about two weeks after they'd started using the system, Kristen noticed her son's blood sugar level was dropping quickly, and she rushed home. Once I checked his blood sugar and made sure it was correct um, and knew that I could get him back, I think I just came in here and started crying my eyes out. And the thing is, when, when their blood sugar, or when his blood sugar is that low, when he comes out of it, he doesn't realize what's happened. So he came walking in the kitchen, and he's like, why are you crying? It's moments like this that make Riley wish he was free of the disease. Yeah, something that just stopped it all. Or I guess in this case made it all start working, but... But for now, Night Scout makes managing his diabetes a little easier. It's always helpful because whenever, a lot of the times at school, my blood sugar's going high and stuff, and I'll get a text from mom every <laughs> class period. 
gets annoying sometimes. Yeah, it's but okay to be honest. It's for the better. <laughs>